There. That's it. That's him. What's up, YouTube? Hope you stay greasy. Back to give you guys another one. And this one's going to be a good one because it has something to do with me to a point, I guess. I'm going to talk about how you can spot a leader. Now, I'm going to talk about these so-called leaders, a lot of these so-called leaders on YouTube, maybe on Facebook, on your Twitters, on your, on your, what's, uh, what's another one, on your, uh, uh, on your digs, on your stumbled upon, on your daily motions, Vimeo, whatever's, you know. I mean, they're, uh, they crack me up, man. They're, they're like, most of these dudes and females are like jokes, for real. Like, but once you get past their double talking and their tomfoolery, you, know, you can easily tell that they ain't built like that. Let me give you an example. I'll just give you my, this is just my perfect per personal example, and I'm going to go in. Happened to me a couple weeks, depending on when I love this video. I mean, there's this, there's this one idiot on YouTube who makes five million accounts, sock puppet accounts. Like a sock puppet, you know what a sock puppet is, you know, put a sock in your hand, sock puppet. Well, this idiot came on my page in my videos and runs me down. Like, first of all, let me say it's YouTube, I don't care. I give everybody a chance to state their opinion, whether it's nasty or nice. You, you can call me everything outside of child of God, or you can call me child of God, I could care less. It's YouTube, I don't take it personal. What the while this dude start really going in on me? I'm like, alright, you know, okay, chill out. You know, I was like, man, just do you, I'll do me. But came to the point he started coming at me hard, and so I was like, fuck it. You you fuck with the bull, you going now you're gonna get the horns. So what happened was I was tearing I was tearing him up. He was saying he was saying stuff that I know isn't true, so I was calling him out on this bullshit. I was like, prove, I said, I was proving him wrong. I said, I'll prove you wrong. I was shooting him facts. I was giving him, he couldn't refute my points. So after all this, like I said, we were mutual, we were mutual combatants, basically. He would say something, I'd go back. It's just the nature of the beast. It's YouTube. Learn to deal with it. At the end of the day, this clown boy, this freak boy, whoever you want to call him, it's on, my, it's on a video of mine, a newer video. He says, I've been saying something about him that's considered libel or slander. I need to stop or I will get, you know, he will go to law enforcement and sue me and press charges. And I'm thinking, oh, for real? This is this is what Faircon, this is what Malcolm Max, this is what uh, Jesse Jackson or Sharpton, this is what these people do? They, they go to law enforcement when their heads, their asses getting handed to them. At the end of the day, if you don't like it, you gotta put up with that. That's what happens. You may hit somebody may not like your opinion. And I, I ain't gonna lie, I was busting his ass on a lot of things. He was saying one thing and doing another, and everything I said about this fucking clown was 110% true. Everybody finally started realizing what I was saying because I was pointing shit out. Let me tell you something. Here's what I was talking about. I talked about another video. If you're working with people, like a lot of people, that's one thing. But if 95% of these people all of a sudden leave you, and they all have, they all consistently have the same story about this, these clowns, then the clown trying to make little saying, well, everybody left and this and the third. Well, they all have, they're all having the same consistent story. It ain't their fault. It's your fault. That's like these people who tell me, you know, you see all these people, all, all I did are bad women, all I did are bad dudes, you know, they're all bum asses. At the end of the day, who really is the bum ass then? You picking them. But other than that, like I said, I just, you know, he, like I told the dude, you don't comment on my videos, I won't comment on your videos. You want to go that route, go right ahead, cry baby. You know, these YouTube cats start stuff and they can't finish it. I'm like, cool. But uh, a leader shouldn't and wouldn't, and won't tell you that he or she is a leader, they just do things that you see them. Like, there's lots of people, like when I was younger, I'd, I'd want to do what they've done. You know, I'm like, follow the leader, you know? <laughs> for real. You know, they just do, you know. They have that it factor, they have that, uh, they just have that, that enigma that quality about it. You just say, hey, I want to be like this. You know, when you when you're down there willing to walk through, you know, hell and back for it, they're doing for their leadership. Like, 
there have been plenty of times where I've been in situations, like when I was around older dudes, like when I was younger, and I admired these dudes, and they were like, well, we got to do this, this, and this. I mean, I knew it was wrong and all, but at the end of the day, I admired these guys, and I was like, let's do it. A leader is not a wishy-washy, a contradictory type person. A leader doesn't tell you one thing, and then when you bust this cocksucker out, or her out, they want to switch, flip the script on you and find something else to talk about. No, that's not what a leader does. Well, maybe they do now. I don't know. Unless they're, unless if you're in political office, you play the game. So I'm talking about these YouTube cronies, all these YouTube wannabe leaders who like ain't doing nothing. You know, they lead by example on a consistent. Like I said, my thing with me, and I'm gonna tell you people. That's like I tell everybody on Facebook, Twitters. Don't believe half these people are doing what they say they're doing unless they're not showing you on a consistent basis. Look. I'll use a model as an example. There's lots of women who swear they're models, but maybe about 10% of them are really models. I don't mean the, I don't mean you Instagram models either. I don't mean your your agency is Instagram. Uh, just because you take 50 million pictures of yourself on Facebook and Instagram, don't make you a model. I mean chicks who are actually doing it. You know, just because you take 50 million pictures, that just means you're vain, and we all are vain, so. Unless you, like, I don't listen to people, uh, for a while, I just, like, I can tell if somebody's just talking about knowing something, whereas if they're showing me and they're talking about it, I can more believe the person that's showing me and then talking about it. But, like, I, I'll give you another example. There's this, there's this young rap dude. Well, he says he rap. I have yet to hear his music. I have yet to see anything. And I told him I was going to shoot him a video for free, off this free, because, like I said, I like the I was just going to shoot it for free because he was a young dude coming up, you know, he didn't have that much money, he had a family, and I was like, nah, you know, I, you know, I knew the dude, I was like, I'll hook you up, so I was going to shoot him a video for free, I said, but I owned it, and I said, but I own the video, and that's, you know, through me, well, this dude started telling my other dude, well, he just wants the money, I'm like, I don't want the money because, dude, no offense, you just a local dude, where am I getting the money, it ain't like Def Jam going to give me fucking money for that video. I'm just doing it to hook you up. That way, I, was, I own a video, but you gonna put it anywhere you want to, saying it's you. At the end of the day, a lot of you people, man, are some sort of, you know, weak leaders. And you guys, and what gets me is people pick these same weak leaders over and over. And then when they become failures, y'all wanna say, well, I never knew about that. You saw the signs, you didn't wanna recognize the signs. So, you keep picking these idiots, you get what you deserve. Down the road, they're going to get exposed, and then you're going to look like a fool for following this person. So, keep your leaders on their toes. Oh, yeah, let me tell you this. A real leader isn't afraid to answer a question once in a while. If you get if you get one of these cats that, you know, on YouTube, which a lot of them do, you ask them a question and try to talk around in circles or they say something else, run. Let's keep it moving because these cats are going to lead you into a hole. That's the only place to lead. These, these are the leaders... Who they, they will not get on the front line. They'll have you get on the front line while they're back, but they never been on the front line. So I'm out of here. You just check your leaders, and if, if you don't, it's shame on you. You get what you deserve. Peace. There. That's it. That's him.